Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 278. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 276 to 284. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to return every tenth value. The first value we want is 88, and then we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, notice here's 1. But then we have to add 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to get to that one. And then when we get 80, we have to add 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we want that 88, that 80, that 32. So uh, this solution actually came from Aladdin at the Mr. Excel message board. This is a question I posted back in 2005. Let's see how this works. We're going to use the index function equals index. Now, uh, the array is simply the values we want to return. And by the way, it could be numbers or names or, or whatever it is. I'm going to click in that top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then I'm going to hit F4. F4 locks it because we need it locked, but it also jumps the screen back in view. Now, comma, and what we want is a row number. Notice we want 1 here, and then we want 10 here. So I'm going to put a 1 here and just close it and show you how that part of it works. That gives you the 88. And then this will give us the 10. And that will give us the 80. Now watch this. That was 10. So we started with 1. We added 9 to get to 10. So now we have to add 9 again to get to the next one. And sure enough, it's 32 as we saw. 41 is the, we have to add 9 to this again. So we get 28. And then that returns the 41, which in fact is the, uh, tenth value, the fourth one. So how in the world are we going to have s simulate that um, in our formula so we don't have to type all these numbers in? Well, let's start off by uh, noticing that we have a 10 here. That's our increment. We could have put 9 there because really we're going to need a 9. We're adding 9. But we want every tenth one, so that's why we put a 10 there. Now, in parentheses, we want to actually go and get that 10 in G6, and we want to lock it with our F4 key. And then we want a minus 1, because we're going to need 9. Now, 9 uh, times 1 it will give us our first 9. 9 times 2 is 18. That will give us our second one. And then we'll always add 1 at the very end. How are we going to do that? How are we going to increment? Because we need we have our 9 here. We need to multiply 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, we're going to use something we've seen in other videos, the rows function. And the rows function, we're going to realize we're sitting in F6. So I'm going to type F dollar sign 6 colon F6 close parentheses. What the rows does is it asks how many rows are there. Right now, we're just in 6, so it gives us 1. But notice this is locked when going down, copying across the rows. This is not locked. So as it goes down, when it goes down to the next cell, this will become 7. And then the rows will return 2, because there's two rows. Similarly, when it goes down to the third one, this will say 8, and it will give us three rows. Now, we actually need to, from our rows, subtract 1. Because for our first one right here, this will be, um, this will give us a 0. And so 0 times whatever's there will give us 0, and then we'll add 1 at the end, and that will give us our first one. But when we get down to the next one, this will give us 9. Rows will give us 2 minus 1 is two is one times that nine and finally we'll add one and that'll give us the tenth one. Let's copy this down, see how this works, and then we'll look at a few. Copy it down. Let's uh, click here and I'm going to run formula evaluator. Formula, formula auditing, for evaluate formula in 2003. This is on the tools menu. And watch this. This G6 as I evaluate, that gives us the nine. The rows gives us 2, because we're in the second one here, but we subtract 1. 9 times 1 is that 9 plus 1 gives us the 10. Let's go down to the next row and hit um, Formula Evaluator. We have our 9, of course. Our rows gives us 3, because we're 1, 2, 3 down into our formula. See how that rows gives us incrementing numbers. We subtract 1. 2 times 9 is 18. Finally, we add 1 to get our 19. So that's a pretty clever way, thanks to Aladdin, to get every tenth value. And whatever you put here, 4, 5, whatever. I could put 5, right? And it will give us every fifth value. There's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 
All right, we'll see you next trick.